Allahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habata fillah Ibn al-Qayyum rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah mentions that there are three types of patience or three types of sabr and so he says a sabr bi'itibar muta'allaqa thalatha aqsam so he, he says sabr that is important, it has three different types. Sabr ala awamir wa ta'at hatta yu'diha. So he mentions the first type, he says that it is patience in following the commandments of Allah and being obedience to Allah. Even if there is some harm to, there is some harm contained in it, or some difficulty contained in it. And then he says, وَصَبْرُوا عَنْ مَنَاهِ وَالْمُخَالَفَاتِ حَتَّ لَا يَقَعَ فِيهَا The second type he mentions that there is patience with regards to the prohibitions and avoiding sinfulness so that one does not enter into it, meaning enter into sin and enter into uh, the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he mentions a third type. He says, وَالصَّبْرُ عَلَىٰ أَقْدَارُ وَأَقْدِيَ حَتَّ لَا يَتَسَخَّتَهَا so then he says that the third type of patience is patience regarding the decree, the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his divine uh, command, tabarak wa ta'ala, so that a person will not be discouraged or uh, displeased with the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the, the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in the first type of patience, as the great Imam mentioned, patience or sabr ala ta'atillah, you know, patience with regards to uh, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is uh, re referring to, or perhaps we might say an example of this, is a person who prays Salat. That they strive and make efforts regardless of whether it's hot, regardless of whether it's cold out outside, regardless of the weather conditions, and regardless of their general state. That if they are able to physically pray, then they must do so. And this is a type of patience in the ta'atillah. So for example, a person who gets up in the, and they wash themselves for prayer, and they prepare themselves for the fajr prayer, even if the water is cold, and even if outdoors it is cold, they go to the masjid, or perhaps they pray in their home, but they struggle and they strive to do obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then this is sabr ala ta'atillah. Sabr ala ta'atillah. This is patience in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to fast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabi al kareem kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba aladina min qablakum la'allakum tattakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those who came before you in order that you would attain taqwa. So in order to attain, uh, attain taqwa, that requires fasting. That fasting is a part of that. Fasting is a part of the a means to attaining taqwa la'izawajal. And fasting requires that one restrains 
his or herself from food and drink. And that is a struggle. And that is what? That's the struggle in Ta'atillah. That is a struggle in order to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the reward is greater than the bit of hunger that you feel and the bit of thirst that you feel and the restraining of the other th things and actions of disobedience that you restrain yourself from. And so that brings up the second type of sabr that uh, Imam Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned and that is sabr ala nawahi or sabr ala Ma'asiyatillah is another way that it's put by the ulama, being patient with regards to the sins uh, and the prohibitions. And this, for example, we might use the example of the person who refrains from committing zina, refrains from uh, adultery and, um, and uh, illegal sexual intercourse. Because this individual knows that there's a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And perhaps that punishment can even come in this life as well. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may restrain their wealth. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may make them catch a disease. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may humiliate them in front of the people. Whatever the case may be, but there may be a punishment in this life. But for sure in the next, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so wills. So, sabr, ala ma'asiyatillah, means to refrain from entering into sinfulness and those prohibitions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have prohibited us from. So that is sabr ala, uh, sabr ala ma'asiyatillah, that is patience and refraining from disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from going in the door of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, transgressing the bounds and the limits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set for us. The third type of patience that Imam Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned, he mentioned a sabr or sabr ala iqdar. He mentioned the sabr, the patience with regards to the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this means, for example, as I just received news just now that a brother who has lived here in Saudi Arabia for 20 years, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him. And I didn't know him, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him and bless his family with patience during this trial and tribulations. A Canadian brother, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive him of his sins, have mercy upon him and bless him with Jannah Tafardos that he lived here for 20 years and he recently passed away or passed away maybe yesterday of cancer. And for his loved ones, then this requires from them sabr ala iqdar, the patience with regards to the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they should not destroy themselves, they should not go beyond the bounds in mourning and they sh should not uh, you know fall into sinfulness and doubting the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hating and detesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine decree but instead they have to be patient during that trial and tribulation and although it brings sadness but they need to come closer to Allah and let it be a source of coming closer to Allah not a source of going away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or another example might be a person who is restricted in their wealth that their status changes with regards to the wealth that they were accumulating maybe they lose their employment maybe they are uh, robbed and they have their wealth stolen or taken from them maybe through oppression, someone oppresses them and takes their wealth. And all of this requires patience and knowing that that's a part of the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perhaps a test of one's faith. And so those are in general some of the patience or the three types of patience that Ibn al-Qayyim mentions amongst the many other ways in which we can be patient and examples 
But those are just three that the great Imam mentioned. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself. And the shaitan was sallallahu wa sallam on the Nabi and the Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.